What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Ari. Welcome back to AMI Vibes. What are you guys are doing? Going to our channel. Back to another reaction video. Today, we have Jacksonville's most wanted gangs. Basically, uh, Young and Ace ATK versus Holy, Holy, wait, Julio Fulio KTA. KTA and ATK versus KTA. I think I think I did a reaction video to a, I know I did a reaction video. I don't know you heard, I'm pretty sure you heard the song. Who I smoke and Julio when I messing you. We reacted to Julio on the channel. I don't know if I reacted to Who I Smoke. Who, who I smoke on here. Young and Ace and Young and the rest of them. Um what? I don't know if I remember if I did that. But anyhow, it was basically like a little documentary of the whole breakdown because I don't even gonna lie. I don't even know what's going on. All I hear is a bunch of guys' names who passed away. God rest their souls. Um, you know, people speaking on them, but I, I didn't know who they were or, or neither one of them are. You know, so it, it, it's a learning experience that we should look into right now. Right? But if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, run the road to 100,000 subscribers. Yes, it's a higher number, but we can get it. Let's get to it. I think about Delta every day. You don't know, you don't never know who's coming. I ain't gonna let you step on me. I gotta stay dangerous. You disrespecting my dad on boys and I want to ditch your dad. You know what I'm saying? Out of the blue, I'll be getting shots. I think I got shot. I blend out. I can hear my little brother. I said, I'm about to die. I'm putting it on my kid. How could I slip? Jacksonville police have arrested the only surviving of the quadruple shooting. I, this tragedy just had to be got in the land park for me. not letting me go to my brother's family. No, the consequences are real because of the streets. I cried like for the street. I might not make it see five years. There's a new wave of rappers that have been steady on the rise in Jacksonville, taking over and putting their city on the map. But no matter how these artists blow up, their street life always seem to tag along and get in the way of their success. We've seen so many lives lost, and Jacksonville is overshadowed by the situation between two rival cliques. Young and Ace ATK and Julio Fulio's KTA have been leaving a trail of bodies behind their beef, and the body count doesn't seem to be near stopping. With both being shot, near losing their lives, Ace and Fulio's beef are spilling over into their camps, and that's Jacksonville hot. I've got the inside scoop between the camps, and we're gonna focus in on the drama and may at least around the Fulio and Ace. Let's dig into this rivalry that's terrifying the city of Jacksonville and just who's who in the beef. Youngers have been wilding in Jacksonville lately, creating a surge of gunplay that has rocketed the side rate in the city. It's in their mind, like, I don't know if the 2000s, baby, really. Like, it's in their mind, they just turned right now. Like, I don't know, bro. If they mentality, shit, shoot first, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Cheap key wave, I don't know who did it, but he just turned up. I don't know. I probably would have done. But the two notable rappers that have been in a highly publicized beat, resulting in multiple lives lost, are Fulio and Hanks. Now, Fulio's crew, KTA, stands for Kill Em All, and well, that's self-explanatory. Ace, on the other hand, is no more subtle in their savagery. His ATK has been rumored to be tied to his name, meaning Ace to Kill, with the signature writing, Spade 2X. But word on the street is that his real meaning is aim to kill. These rappers aren't the ones that do the talking with clout. They live that life and had a scars and blood trail to prove it. Now, where did all this start? Young and Ace has been the face of Jacksonville since his debut hit, Go To which showcased the rapper's versatility. Sorry. And from the type of lifestyle he came up in, the beats follow, and the- Okay, sorry if y'all only hear me talking too much, because I really find it interesting because I don't know nothing about it, and once I'm learning something, I shut up and watch, you know what I mean? Like, if I know something, I'll talk over it a lot. But I'll try to keep it as entertaining as possible. One thing that right. oh. cost him many friends, family, and nearly his own life is the one that his crew, ATK, had with KTA. And Julio, who was also one of Jacksonville's buzzing rappers, was started out as a confusion between two rappers that could have been squashed by a simple conversation became something that engulfed Jacksonville. For, like, the outside people that ain't, like, from, like, Duval and shit that don't, like, this shit ain't what it, like, like, if you ain't from here, you won't know what's going on in the streets of Duval, so shit. That being said, these niggas, like, ain't nothing, no. So it ain't that deep? Nah, ain't so if y'all just see each other, it'll be cool. The retaliation and dropping the bodies on each camp? Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be honest, I, I will be 110% honest with you guys. I did not know Jacksonville, I'm talking about Jacksonville, 
Jacksonville Duval was like this. I swear to you, I did not know it. I thought, let me tell you why I really thought the heavy gang shits were. Chicago, obviously. Louisiana. Florida. Well, not Florida. Well, I would say Florida. Yeah, yeah, Florida. Which is Jacksonville. Jacksonville's in Florida. But I thought it was like Pompano, uh, Clearwater, you know, down there. I didn't know it was all the way up there. Now it makes sense why people say Florida. Florida, just Florida overall. But I'm pretty sure it's not everywhere. Else. That's like saying West Palm Beach gang gang. Do West Palm Beach gang gangs? gangs? That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty weird. Yeah, not weird, but it'd be different. Like, you know what I mean? I never thought about that. You know, Chicago's, Louisiana, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte have gangs, like heavy on the gang shit. Um, off of the top of my head, I think he was still with, uh, I'm just sure, I'm just sure. But I didn't even, I didn't even like this. I didn't know it was like this. Sparked from the banking of Julio's cousin, Zion Brown, which seemed like a planned hit. 18-year-old Zion Brown was the only adult in the home, along with two teens, a nine-year-old and a six-year-old boy. And get this, the trigger puller, DeAndre Thomas, was wanted by the cops for a failed robbery with Young and Ace that got eight seven months in the pen. Zion would be the first reported fallen victim in the beat and then set things spiraling out of control. The ops would get their get back on ATK. Young and Ace would be the target while celebrating his blood brother, Trayvon Bullard, aka Quan Quan, 18th birthday. He's telling the gruesome scene where his blood brother Quan through the streets, Royale Smith, and close friend, Jacoby Groover, aka Bo, lost their lives, leaving him with eight bullet wounds. Ace became even more cold. A shooter or shooters on the run after four teens are gunned down to the south side. What we're learning about the men killed in a drive-by shooting. 18-year-old Trayvon Bullard, 19-year-old Jacoby Groover, and 18-year-old Royale Smith. They lost their lives late last night. Police say the shooter followed the three along with a fourth survivor. Having previously experienced pain from losing both his uncle and another brother he looked up to. My uncle had died when I was like 13, 14. Mm -hmm. And he was like, uh, he was like a daddy with me, cause my dad was doing 15 years in prison, and he was like the the, the head of our family. You know, you got that one person in that family that just control it. Man, fam, I don't know. My brother got shot in front of me. That was a big loss. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that was a big, that was the biggest loss I ever, I ever experienced. I ain't gonna speak too much on that, but shit, who? He just got shot. He shot. He got shot in front of me though. You know what I'm saying? Man, that was a big loss. Though. Ace was going through it, feeling the weight of blaming himself for not protecting his day one. I'm lost. I feel like it's my fault. I always feel like that. I'm gonna ever feel like that. Everybody said don't feel like that, but you don't, you don't know how it feels. Like it's like everybody on your watch, like they right here with you. How could you let this happen? To this day, they three faces inked across his abdomen. As we've seen countless times before, once the body starts piling, beef just keeps escalating and only catches on to everyone around. Now ATK and KTA was in an all-out battle at this point. They main man fighting for his life on the hospital bed. He had been shot eight times, I believe. At that point, we had three or four or eight bullets inside of him still. Um, considering he really needed to go to a hospital. Because he didn't have insurance, the hospital wouldn't take the bullets out of him. So while he was in custody, it was really became that part. It, America, it was, nah, this is why we got Paul's bill. I don't understand America. This is one thing I hate about America. No disrespect to Americans. How the hell you pay so much in taxes every year? You pay so much, you can spend Billions, trillions of dollars on nukes and war weapons and whatever. So much. You spend billions on weapons. Oh, huh. You guys spent on the F-35, you guys spent like what? I forgot how much billions of dollars y'all spent on the pro- Man, listen, the program, I mean, listen, I mean, the, just the style of the program. This doesn't mean like the aircraft is certified as in, oh yeah, it's good. No, it's just a concept. I think they spend about, don't quote me on these numbers. 
I think it was like $2 billion. I was just like $2 billion or $3 billion. Or some, one weird number like that. Billion, right? I mean, this plane ain't even in the air yet. It's not even FAA certified. The concept of the aircraft. Y'all know the aircraft that's vertically landing. Yeah, I work, I'm, I'm, I'm an aviation enthusiast, so I would know this. You spend, Lockheed Martin spend, you guys contracted them billions of dollars to build this plane. But you can't provide health care for your people. And it's, it don't even have to be free health care. Nah, fuck that. It gotta be free healthcare. Because y'all spend a bunch of money on weapons and. Bro! Every time you think you have it bad, you, you look at somebody else and they have it worse. You know what I mean? Like, I understand it will be a bill for them to do that, but then again, it's your people. Shouldn't you want to make sure your people is okay, healthy? Come on, you tell me this nigga got eight bullets in him. Life or death situation, cause he don't have insurance. He's supposed to die, and this is for anybody. I don't care who it. Is. It could be him, um, the opposite, the opposite gang, whoever it is. But you telling me somebody got shot because they don't have insurance, you can't touch them, or you don't want to touch them? Responsibility to the sheriff's office to make sure he got the medical care he needed. The sheriff's office didn't give him medical care. They didn't give him antibiotics, and they basically just left him in there. ATK was slipping slowly. Julio took the opportunity to taunt his ops and make light of Ace's fallen brothers and homies. Royal, Royal Smith, is that 4X? Who else that is? Quad, quad, da, da, da. Ace caught wind of Fulio's antics while recovering, got out of the hospital, dropped a freestyle. Laying in the hospital bed, they shots to my body, on no, my mind and my bro. They say, them three didn't make it. Tears for the pain, no other way I can take it. And got on Fulio's head and his KCA ops for talking sideways about the loss of his bro. Don't f They be riding to the gate, they yeah. Man, kill my brother, boy. It's not Kill my brother, so don't let them tell you that. You think you ain't kill my brother? You think you wanna meet that shit in their songs? They better stop that shit. Y'all better stop for y'all motherfucking eyes, bro. Rock was just like, fuck these man. These nigga ain't gonna play with me. Ain't gonna nigga. I ain't gonna play with me, bro. Real life, real. I ain't gonna play with me, bro. Come about my shit. Come about my business. Fulio being the Jacksonville Grim Reaper, double down on his word in the face of threats and taunts. We can cut it up the streets. If you in the streets and you strong, like, you know what the consequences are. You dead or you in jail. Oh, well, got People realize that too late to a nigga dead, though. Like, you feel me? People just felt like I was wrong. You said, really, I was like, I had to you know the consequences of something yeah. happened to you. So, that's how I took it. You know what I'm saying? I said what I said. You know? But time proved this to not be the best decision he can make. If we learn anything from these street beefs, it's what? Don't disrespect nobody's fallen homies. That continues to be one of the main reasons beef gets spun out of control and turns situation into an endless cycle of gunplay. You disrespecting my dad homeboy, and I want to bitch your dad. You know what I'm saying? So that'd be like a little tip for tuck shit like that. Fulio and his gang seem to have the upper hand and continue pressing ATK. This is where things got even more dicey. Turns out, a rapper by the name of Willie Addison. Okay, so as far as I know, okay, 23, okay, so I count so far, I think I count six dead people, six people who passed so far, six, that's a lot. Six. And who was the scary part? I feel like the youngest is only 18. Boom, got shot up after leaving the Paradise Club with relatives where he just performed at the club. Yes, two or three cars pulled up on the side of us, shot inside our car over a hundred times, killed my son in the front seat, shot my son in the back, in the, in the head three times, shot my nephew several times, a couple more passengers in there were shot oh, several times, numerous of times. And I drove all the way from there to Memorial Hospital, shot in the back myself twice. This happened to be the brother and family members of Ace's right-hand man and shooter, K. Sue. This dude don't care, and we'll find out why I say that soon. Six people total sustained injuries, including K. Sue's dad, Abdul Robinson. 
But his brother Boss Boom didn't make it. Boss was only out for a couple months from a 10 year sentence. Hey Sue already plotting revenge on his mind, got the perfect chance to exact retribution alongside his father, carrying out a hit on rapper Charles McCormick, aka KTA Lil Buck, who was drilled in Arlington during a daytime ambush in the shopping plaza. Both K Sue and his father set news outlets and hip hop sites on fire with the father son hit that upped the score for ATK. Developing now, a father and son have been arrested in connection with a shooting at an Arlington shopping center. 21-year-old Hakeem Robinson and his father, 49-year-old Abdul Robinson, are both in the Duval County Jail. Now, let's pause a bit to talk about Ace's shooter, K. Sue. If his name sounds familiar, he was the rapper that made international news for placing his lost off on his album cover. Yep, you heard that right. Dudes don't give two Fs. This album cover, it hurts my heart, like, to see my son on there as a joke. But wait, there is a great significance in this if you pay attention to the subliminal diss to ATK. This in itself was an act of disrespect that hit home for Fulio because many of the names were a reference to his fallen KTA homies, like Dirk, Zion, and his homie Bibi Osama. And gunfire erupts inside a northwest side apartment complex that leaves this 16-year-old dead who ace and them constantly disrespects it online after deleting it. Releasing his tribute track, Baby Story, to his close. Sorry, I, won't, I just keep on seeing one mosquito. Bro, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have nothing to say, bro. I am so lost for words. His friend that became a notable record from the KTA rapper. Oh, baby, that's my little brother. Yeah, I died and shit. Oh, that shit, that song, no, that, that was like a tribute, a testimony of the home. I lost him, I was like one of the last niggas he was with before he, he passed and shit like that. K. Sue pours salt in the wound <coughs> with his disgustingly disrespectful diss track. K. Sue, <laughs> he's telling scenes from the hit. And you know we smoke the. <laughs> the bodies just kept stacking up, but the beef showed no sign of slowing down between Julio's KTA and Ace's ATK. Soon, just as Ace felt was wet up, Julio got a brush with the grave when a bullet grazed his skull and an attempt on his life. Good job, got me, but then killed me. I'm Kendrick. And when he survived and they couldn't finish the job, they later banged on his girl, nearly taking her life as well. Y'all thought I was dead. Y'all me up score just yet. <laughs> By this point, both camps have already lost so much and with people close to them. But no matter how much their music got more attention and their fame kept rising, the street mentality was just rooted too deep to let go and move on. After having an attempt on his life where he narrowly survived, Ace was again the target while at the Waycross Hotel where he was staying while in the area for a performance. He got away unscathed this time, but one of his homies was injured and the other was added to KTA's scoreboard. The scene of Sunday's shooting, a group of men including rapper Young and Ace were near the pool when they were shot at, according to police. Julio couldn't wait for a chance to jump at the opportunity. Continuing to mock Ace and his ATK hitman K. Sue, lost homies. Man, this mosquito! Only to find himself losing two more of his KTA comrades, Spaz 2X and Rod K. One day after the next, after it appeared, Rod K would pull through. It's like an endless back and forth, man. One moment KTA is laughing, the next ATK. Truth is, no one has the last laugh when it comes to beef. Just pain and falling home. But Ace and his right-hand man, ATK k had to go tip for tat, pounding Julio for losing two more members. And since the moment in the ass back the same way, back in the box, come about. Fulio took it in stride, posting up a single message. 
before going right back to resuming the beat. This time, taking things a step further, aiming for Ace's shooter, k Su, who the cops caught on to, and locked up by this time for the hit on Lil Buck. Julio made fun of his arrest and even dragged his pops into the beat. And exposed k Su, posting receipts of his sister rocking with his set, as well as k Su repping for Julio before he jumped sides to Ace. It's always the same thing we see with these bigs. Dudes always friends turned enemies. Dudes is talented and really putting Jacksonville on the map, but slowly drawing new rappers like Spot 'em Got 'em and JD Youngin into the beat. This ain't never. You know they never put no work. Niggas just be rapping on the mic. I don't just rap. I don't talk about other niggas' life on my mic. Be me, you niggas. Spot 'em Got 'em. Youngin, you a. Did you not on shit? Say for eight, you from Myers Town, but now you on that list. Heard you got a baby on the way, cause you riding eight. Got your change, that's the game bill. But we'll address that in a separate bit. For now, we'll keep our eye on how things turn out and trust. I'ma update you with the latest info. It's getting crazier and crazier in Jacksonville. The way things is going, the OGs of ATK and KTA might be gone with this keep up for men, for shit. That's it for this video. Let me know what you want to see in the upcoming video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Okay. That's a lot of death in one video, bro. Bro, that's like, I lost track, person. I lost track at like eight. It was like eight of them. I think it was more than eight, correct? Let me know in the comment down below how much people got murdered. Because all I hear was names and I got confused. I haven't gonna lie. It was a lie. Bro, but then again, you know what I mean? Like Julio said in the beginning, that, that's the street. When you sign up for the street, listen, you know what? I'm happy. That not that people got hurt, but this video was made. I, I'm happy that this person put this video together so people can see, bro. Stop coming on the internet. Nah, I can't see some of y'all. Stop acting like some of y'all tough, some of y'all this, some of y'all that. Y'all ain't y'all 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 wasn't raised in that environment. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Stop talking on shit y'all don't really know about. Y'all, 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 y'all be on the camera throwing up signs. What? Nah, like, okay, I can understand. Oh. Like, when you guys see me used to do this, that is, that's not no gang. That's sign language, all right? That means life, a sign language. That's not a gang, sign language. Um, But just be careful, man. Be careful. But these two gentlemen and the gangs, they know what they sign up for. This is what the gang sign up for. There's only two things that can happen for you when you're in the gang. You either dead or you in jail. And he said that. He accepted that. He accepted that. Once you're willing to accept that, either I'm gonna die or I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life. And if you cool with that, well, by all means, go turn this bitch into Afghanistan if you want to. By all means. Once you accept that, and you don't bring nobody else into it as in no innocent bystanders or and you know what I mean, nobody who who ain't got nothing to do with it. Once you don't bring that involved. Fuck it. It is what it is. It's the truth. I don't. I, I wouldn't promote violence, but it is what it is. Once these two agree, hey, you got beef, I got beef with you. Let's go up on each other. It is what it is at the end of the day. But y'all need to stop going on these internet and swear think y'all is the biggest gangster. I always say, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> I, I give hugs. <laughs> I'm a kid, but I'm a fat boy. That's me. I'm, a, I'm the real certified Level boy, Drake. You stole my shit, Drake. But, yeah, man. But, on a serious note, man, I hope these two young men figure out, hey, let's squash this shit. We ain't gotta be friends, but there's a lot of money out there for us to make, so we just kill that shit, and it's so be it, and we just move on, move forward. But, how that can happen, I don't know, anything's possible once you really think about it, alright? But this is the end of the video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash the like button, subscribe. If you guys enjoy, comment down below. Show your boys some love, alright? Whatever you say, hope you guys have an awesome day. Be happy, be blessed. And remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.